let's read this passage by the literary critic so the literary critic says when a reader feels an emotion that is focused on the events and characters in a work of fiction so the critic is talking about a reader who is reading a work of fiction when such a reader feels an emotion that is focused on the events and characters in that work the reader is somewhat psychologically detached from that emotion the reader in such a case is not completely attached with that emotion there is a level of detachment let's understand this with an ex with uh, this with an example so let's say uh, i am this reader and i am reading some fictional work i know the character in that fictional work is happy i can understand that emotion i can feel that emotion however i still have a level of detachment from that emotion i am not completely into it that is what this first line tells us let's read further lacking the immediacy of emotions about events in the reader's own life emotions evoked by fiction are enjoyed as pure sensations independent of blank one so this is a very long sentence let's understand it uh, bit by bit so in this sentence we are talking about the emotions that are evoked by fiction the critic says that because these emotions that are evoked by fiction are not emotions about the reader's own life the reader's personal life or personal experience they can be experienced as pure sensations this means the readers can experience the these these emotions without having having to worry about the consequences or the uh, complications that similar emotions might evolve in real involve in real life so if i if we go back to this example the character is happy and i can feel that happiness however it's not that i will be as excited about it or um, uh, my my day will change because of something that happened in the character's life right that that will happen with the character not with me i know the character is happy i feel that emotion but that is it and because this is uh, this is not related to something that is happening in my life this emotion is not actually happening in my real life i am just enjoying it as a pure sensation now this pure sensation is independent of blank one and we need to find an answer for this blank one so this blank likely refers to something that typically accompanies the real emotions which the reader would experience in their own life so something that would accompany the real emotions but is absent in this fictional context so a good fit here can be um uh, personal uh consequences or real life implications right so these emotions are pure sensations which are independent of what is going to happen in real life what what might have happened in real life right so the first answer choice should be in line with uh, uh with 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 these uh, uh basically it should be in line with this yeah let's read further consequently so we have a conclusion here the reader can find pleasure even in sadness when it is focused on the events and characters in fictional works so the critic now presents a conclusion that because these um, emotions are detached and viewed as pure sensations the readers can find pleasure <laughs> even in negative emotions like sadness when they are a part of such a fictional narrative this is the author's conclusion let's read further because the work's beauty consists partly in its ability to evoke such blank too so what can be the correct answer uh, for blank too let's understand that and yeah so here the critic is presenting a reason an explanation of why the reader can be happy even when they are reading something that evokes sad emotion and notice that the critic has linked this reason to one of the abilities of the fictional work one of the qualities of the fictional works right their quality to evolve to evoke blank too so what can be the correct answer from the given information we know that the reader has a level of detachment from uh, uh, the emotions that are described in a fictional work so we can say that they can experience negative emotions as we saw here they can even experience negative emotions happily while enjoying it right <coughs> this is what the passage tells us now if we have to link this information with the quality of fictional work we can say that these fictional works have the power to successfully evoke emotions that in real life would be considered unpleasant <laughs> unpleasant or 
undesirable without making the reader uncomfortable these fictional work can make the reader go through the emotion of sadness without actually making him very sad right they can the readers can happily uh, experience that emotion of sadness so the correct answer for the second blank should be something like unpleasant or undesirable or negative emotion right with this understanding let's analyze the answer choices given to us all right so we have our pre thought answers here for both the blanks now let's evaluate the choices here the first choice is beauty it is not in line with uh, either the first or the second blank so this is correct for both the blank incorrect for both the blanks psychological detachment again it is not related to any of the two blanks to any of the answer choices uh, that we pre thought typically unpleasant emotions so this choice is in line with our pre thought answer for blank 2 this is a correct choice fictional events uh, again not related to any of the pre thought answer choices it cannot fit in blank a or blank b and real events is our pre thought answer for uh, the first choice and yeah so the correct answer is real events for blank 1 and typically unpleasant emotions for blank 2 thank you